This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a handgun safe made by a company that I choose to pronounce a Celine, though that name is readily susceptible to another pronunciation that I think you'll agree is probably more appropriate. Now, there are three designed methods for opening this, a user-selected code, a fingerprint reader, then on the front we have a mechanical backup cylinder. My first thought when looking at this product was that the programming buttons for the electronics are far too exposed, easily pressed by slipping something thin under the door. But I soon learned that the buttons don't work when the safe is locked. It's an obvious and sensible precaution, but strangely one that few makers seem to take. So I have to give credit for picking that low hanging fruit. That leaves us with the mechanical backup lock, and unfortunately, they chose to use a decidedly cheap and insecure wafer lock, one that can be jiggled open in just a few seconds. Let's give that a try. I'm going to use one of the wafer jigglers on my Covert Companion. I sell these over on CovertInstruments.com. Just that quickly, we got this open. Okay, folks. As always, when it comes to gun security, my test is whether the device is likely to withstand a curious adolescent. And in the case of this product, I think the answer is clearly no. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.